Hi guys, Dustin here from MyFreedomSmokes.com and today I'm here to talk to you about the new Vision Spinner 2 uh, which is the newest product from uh, Vision which is uh, a very well respected manufacturer in the industry. The Vision Spinner 2 obviously is an updated version of the original Vision Spinner batteries uh, which have been on the market for, for quite a while now um, and are, are pretty well received. A, a lot of people out there really love these products um, including myself. Uh, I use the, the Vision Spinner 2 as, as one of my go-to batteries. Uh, it, it's variable voltage. Uh, it uh, you know, operates um, for anywhere from 3.2 volts up to 4.8. Uh, so it's, it's a good battery. It's a lot like the uh, Joytech Ego C Twist um, and the, the Emacs out there. Uh, with the only difference being that the uh, Smoketech Emacs does both variable voltage and variable wattage. Uh, whereas the, the Ego C Twist and the Vision Spinners only do the variable voltage. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the product itself. Um, just you know, kind of up close here. You'll notice obviously it says Vision Spinner 2, but it's got this really cool design to it. And you can kind of see the the fading dots as you go down uh, the length of the battery. Now this one has happens to be stainless steel. I've got another one here with the Nautilus tank on it. Uh, I believe this is the gold color. Um, and you can see those dots going down. They are a bit textured, so you can feel them on there, uh, and then it kind of fades out into a, a smooth, uh, kind of kind of sleek feel to it. Um, the button is is super nice. They went with this, uh, um, I guess, pentagon shaped button, you would say, with the V in it uh, for vision, uh, obviously. And then on the bottom, it's got this textured knob to turn the voltage up and down with these big grooves cut out in it uh, which is just awesome looking and, and and you know this battery has been extremely well received uh, there's been a lot of hype about it and then I can say in, in my experience it's living up to the hype uh, because it's a really awesome battery so uh, real quick we'll take a look at it side by side here with a couple of other batteries I've got an, an EVOD 1000 mAh battery here or an EVOD uh, I think this is actually 1100 mAh battery uh, from mini vape, the original Vision Spinner battery, uh, and then I've got the uh, Vision Spinner 2. So you can kind of see the, the difference in the size there. Um, this Vision Spinner 1 here is actually a 1300 mAh. The Vision Spinner 2 is a 1600 mAh. So it is a bigger capacity battery, and it shows in the size. Um, you know, usually whenever you step up in capacity, you're going to be stepping up in size. Uh, and you know obviously the reason for that is if you want the battery to last longer it's going to require a bigger battery to do so so you know that that's the the trade off that you get uh but the really cool thing is you know they seem to make this this top portion uh a lot smaller because they took the battery off of that top portion off of the PCB and put it into the battery casing uh where on top of the uh casing itself just sets the threads so it's really in terms of length, it's not a whole lot longer, maybe half an inch or so longer. Uh, in terms of diameter, it is uh, about exactly the same diameter, maybe just a smidge, a smidge larger. Um, you can't even really tell here, and, I, and I'm feeling it on both sides. I, I can't really tell that it's any bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and say that it's actually the same exact diameter uh as the original vision spinner so which is nice um because it, it has a nice feel to it you know it's, it's a lot bigger well not a lot but it's it's, it's quite a bit bigger than your standard ego or, or evod style batteries um in terms of diameter uh you can see that that comparison there uh but it it, it has a good feel to it it's not overly huge it doesn't feel like a baton uh, or anything like that. It's 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 a good size. Um, I like it a lot. So, uh, and and it makes a good fit for for a lot of different style tanks. You know, I've got the Aspire ETS, which is is uh, you know if you've watched any of my videos, you notice I, I use this a lot. It's a really good tank. Um, you know, matches up really well. I mean, that's a that's a good looking PV right there. Uh, and I've already showed you the the what the Nautilus tank looks on it. You know, obviously the Nautilus is a, is a massive tank. Um, it has uh, a rated capacity of five milliliters. It actually holds closer to six or seven milliliters of juice. So it's it's just a, a massive tank. Um, but it really doesn't look extremely out of place on on the battery if you're okay with it. That tank looking a little bit larger or being a little top heavy there. 
um, then it's, it's not too bad. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at how it works here. So this is really cool, you know, how it lights up, you know, that V lights up and it's got a white LED shining right now, which means that it's, it's basically almost fully charged. It does have the, uh, the five button click. So I hit it five times, it turns off. You saw it blink there to turn off. I hit it five more times and it turns back on. And you can see there's some other colors in that light. I don't, I don't know if you can really see that well on camera. Yeah, it's hard, hard to see on camera, but uh, there's some other, other colors in there. It's not just white all the time. Uh, actually, from 100% charge down to 60% charge, that, that light's gonna shine up white every time you press the button. Uh, whenever it gets down to 60%, uh, then it changes Any, anywhere from 60% down to 30% charge remaining then you're going to get a blue LED and that's going to kind of let you know you're in that middle range you're going to need to charge it fairly soon um, so don't plan on, on taking it out for the next couple of days in, in a row without giving it a charge uh, and then when finally whenever you get down to 30% and below it's going to change to a, a, a reddish or orangish I think it's an, actually an orange light uh, on the inside there and that's going to let you know that you need to charge it right away um, or it's going to give out on you so uh, and then you know at the bottom here you've got your your standard dial to uh, adjust the voltage going from 3.3 up to 4.8 there's the 3.3 goes all the way around to the 4.8 and vision did something great here they they listened to their customers you know, their, their customers were, were constantly telling them, hey, you know, we really like this dial at the bottom. Uh, and you can see right now I've got it on 4.3 volts. Um, but the problem we have is it's too easy to turn that dial inadvertently uh, and end up, you know, just, just turning it by accident while it's in your pocket or in your purse or, or whatever and, and end up, you know, with a different vaping experience because you turn the voltage up too high, burn up your atomizer or something like that and, and, and you didn't intend to. Um, so what they've done is they've actually put in uh, uh, locks at, at each separate uh, interval here. So at the very lowest 3.3, it doesn't go any lower than that. Um, it locks into place there and then if I turn it, you see it turns smooth until it gets there and it stops uh, right there at the 3.8. So and, and it locks in right there. I can twist it, it doesn't move. And then I start turning it a little bit harder and it clicks out. And then it moves again until it gets up to that 4.3 mark and it stops again. And then push it on past that and go up to 4.8 and it locks in for a final time and that's the highest it can go. Now that doesn't mean that you have to lock it into those places. You can leave it anywhere in between and it will work at voltages in between the ones marked on here. So if I want to use it at 4.5 I can just leave it a little above that 4.3 mark and it will work uh, at 4.5 volts uh, as intended um, but the good news is you know if you're using a really low resistance atomizer and you have it set down to say 3.7 or, or something like that like your standard battery uh, you don't want to by accident turn it up to like four and a half volts take a hit off of it burn up that atomizer and, and now you're out of an atomizer um, so in here if I set that at 3.7 and uh, I had it in my pocket and it started turning by accident. The worst that could happen is it could go down to 3.3 or it could go up to 3.8, um, you know, and, and it'll lock in at that point and it's not gonna go any further. So it's just a, a little bit of added protection for you um, to help you out uh, and it's some feedback. They're working off of some feedback that they got from customers and, and uh, suppliers in the industry. So it's, it's great a vision to, to, to show that they're, they're listening uh, and giving the people what they want, but um, that's it, guys. I mean, that's the Vision Spinner 2. Uh, the hype about it is real, and I can say, like I said, uh, it, it does live up to that hype. I think it's uh, a really awesome looking battery. I mean, you're going to get compliments on it all over the place. Anybody who knows anything about electronic cigarettes um, are, are going to know about this battery, and if they haven't seen it yet, then, then they're going to be impressed. Um, it's really cool. Uh, it comes in a ton of different colors. Uh, I think we're carrying, I think, seven or eight of them right now. We have a lot more on the way. Um, 
but they are, are very awesome batteries. They work, you know, with, with anything Ego or 510 threaded. It has the, the standard Ego threads on it. Uh, so you can use it with something that, that has the full Ego threads like this Aspire ETS. Or you can use it with something that just has the 510 threads. Um, but you might want to get a beauty ring or an Ego thread adapter to cover up those outer, outer threads there. If you're using something with just a 510 fitting. Uh, kind of like this Nautilus here take it off and show you that so it just has that 510 fitting on there so I'm using this ego thread cover to cover those outer threads uh, and just give it a sleeker look whenever it matches up to the battery uh, it charges with your standard ego wire charger uh, 420 volt 420 milliamp output um, is what you want to use to charge it uh, it'll take several hours to charge I mean it's a, it's a pretty big battery you're talking about 1600 ma uh, so it's going to take several hours to charge so you know it's, it's a good idea to pick up at least two of them that way you can have one charging while you're using the other one uh, and that's what I do you know I, I carry these two around with me all day every day um, when one of them gets slow I stick it on the charger and I know I've got another one I can use in the meantime so um, but that's it guys the the Vision Spinner 2 it's a it's a great great product uh, it's available now online at myfreedomsmokes.com. Come, come over and check it out. We've got an outstanding price on it. Uh, I'll let you get to the website and check that out, but I'm pretty sure we're selling it for less than, than anybody else right now. So come over and check it out, www.myfreedomsmokes.com. Thanks, guys.